It's now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Edward Rubin, the Alumni Professor of Environmental Engineering and Science and Professor of Engineering and Public Policy and Mechanical Engineering. Dr. Rubin is among the recipients of the Nobel Peace Prize that was presented to Vice President Al Gore and the UN Intergovernmental Panel of Climate Change in December of 2007. Dr. Rubin served as a lead author and coordinating lead author, author of a special report which pointed the world toward a workable solution to the critical problem of global climate change. He is the first Carnegie Mellon faculty member to share the Nobel Peace Prize. We have invited him to join us on stage today to recognize his outstanding achievement and to introduce our keynote speaker. Dr. Rubin. Thank you, Provost Camlet, for those kind words. <clears throat> First, for the benefit of those of you who may not know of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, let me simply say that it includes many hundreds of scientists and experts throughout the world who have been studying the problem of global warming <clears throat> for over two decades and who have now concluded with a high degree of scientific certainty that human activities indeed are changing our climate at an unprecedented and dangerous rate. All of us involved in the IPCC, of course, were extremely pleased and proud to see this large collective effort acknowledged by the Nobel Prize Committee last fall. But in recognizing the accomplishments and profound impacts of a single individual, there is only one Nobel laureate on this platform today, and it is my privilege and honor to introduce him to you. By my count, this is Al Gore's third visit to the Carnegie Mellon campus. The first was in April of 1992, when then Senator Gore gave the keynote speech at a symposium here to honor the late Senator John Hines and inaugurate the newly named Hines School of Public Policy and Management. It was a truly spellbinding talk about the threat of global warming. Passionate, eloquent, and powerfully well-informed. Eight years later, as vice president, Al Gore returned to Carnegie Mellon during his campaign for the presidency. That October afternoon, he stood at the steps of Hammerschlag Hall and spoke to a sea of students, faculty, and staff assembled on that lawn. And while he spoke of many things that day, the growing threat of climate change was again a prominent concern. And he had the courage to level with us that meeting that challenge would not be easy or fast. But he also inspired us that day. He inspired us to see that a response to this problem would unleash a massive wave of talent and ingenuity that would create new jobs and new industries that would not only transform our environmental legacy, but foster economic growth as well. That vision and that message was a true act of political courage and leadership. And then there's the movie An Inconvenient Truth, which I suspect many of you here have already uh, had a chance to see. Because of that great film, as best I can tell, Al Gore has become the first person in the history of the world to receive not only the Nobel Peace Prize, but also an Academy Award. <laughs> President Cohn, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce Vice President Al Gore. 